Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to create this video to showcase some of the absolute best tweaks available and compatible with jailbroken devices on iOS 7.1 through 7.1.2. All right, so starting off before we begin with Apple on the verge of issuing iOS 7.1.3 to the public, a firmware which will almost certainly patch the untethered jailbreak, and with the unexpected and undeniably welcomed Pangu jailbreak 7.1.2 release from the previously unheard of Pangu team, I felt it would be a perfect time to share with you guys some of the best tweaks currently available in Cydia. Moreover, what would jailbreaking be without the extraordinary Cydia developers on the jailbreak scene who create amazingly useful and unique tweaks. And it's safe to say that one of the questions that I'm asked most often is which tweaks should I get after jailbreaking? While I did create numerous videos previously for evasion on iOS 7.0 through 7.0.6, I wanted to bring you guys this updated video to share with you a list of tweaks that are compatible with the Pangu jailbreak, again for up to iOS 7.1.2, Apple's latest public firmware at the time of recording this video. Also, I wanted to say some things to preface before we actually get into the tweaks in today's video. First of all, all of the tweaks that will be mentioned are my list of essential tweaks. So what that means is that these tweaks are intended for users who want powerful functionality with minimal pizzazz, battery drain, or loss of performance. Also, the tweaks can be used without compromise and have virtually no noticeable adverse effects on devices that are jailbroken by way of Pangu. Also, all of these packages are installed on my iPhone 5S, which I use on a daily basis. So it's safe to say that these are the tweaks that I find to be the absolute best. And that's just my personal opinion. They provide the functionality that I need and nothing more. Even though I'm on 7.1.2, my device's battery lasts for quite some time. And that's mostly because I don't have any tweaks that unnecessarily eat up battery life. Also, before we actually get into the tweaks, there are two things I need to mention. First of all, this list is comprised of both premium and free tweaks available inside of Cydia. If you guys want a video that's dedicated to just free tweaks from Cydia, then just be sure to check out one of my previous videos covering the evasion jailbreak and tweaks that are compatible with iOS 7.0.x. Now, while most of those will function on 7.1.x, there's no guarantee, and this video is created, again, explicitly for Pangu, and all of the tweaks have been verified by myself on numerous devices. Also, you will need to be jailbroken, so if you aren't currently jailbroken and you're on the desktop version of YouTube, just be sure to click on one of the annotations on the screen now to be taken to either my iOS 7.1.2 or my iOS 7.0.6 jailbreak tutorials. And once you're jailbroken, you can come back to this video. All right, and with all that out of the way, let's get right into the tweaks. So first up, we have Activator, which is the tried and true tweak that's a dependency for a vast majority of packages that allow users to set various trigger actions for completing specified tasks. For instance, you can set it up so that pinching with three fingers inside of an app will return to the home screen or pinching icons on the springboard will lock the device. Also, if you go inside of the settings app, you can scroll down to the activator pane. There are an unparalleled amount of actions and also an equally surprising number of tasks that said actions can accomplish. And if set up correctly, you can even make it similar to an iPad with multitasking gestures. Next up, we have Disable Parallax Effect, which might seem useless to some because all it does essentially is just disable the effect that slightly skews and shifts the background and icons when a device's orientation is shifted. So as you can see now, I don't have the parallax effect installed on my iPhone. And the reason why most would consider it useless is because you can essentially disable parallax inside of settings already. If you go to settings, general accessibility, and then you scroll down to reduce motion, you can enable that and that will essentially reduce parallax. It won't completely disable it, but what it also does is it changes the opening and closing animations for apps where it minimizes or maximizes apps depending on whether they're opening or closing. Well, because I have disable parallax effect installed, it doesn't rely on the toggling of reduce motion. So I do have all of my previous animations available. Also, because I don't have the parallax effect and because I have disabled 
stable parallax effect installed, it makes it easier on the battery life because it's not always having to rely on that gyroscope motion data and it's not always having to reposition the wallpaper and the icons. Moving on for number three, we have Byte SMS, which is essentially a premium tweak that's available for free for the first seven days. And after the initial testing period, Byte SMS simply displays a discrete ad until you purchase a license, but you can fully use Byte SMS without actually purchasing said license. And as for the features, Byte SMS is a messaging app that allows for so many different options, including quick reply, the option to actually schedule messaging auto forwarding, passcode lock, and more. For an example, I'm going to show you guys quick replies. So it just replaces the default messaging app. Let's open it up now. I have my own contact here and we can do quick replies. So I'm going to just paste a message in and I'm going to exit out really quick and show you guys how quick reply works. I can pull down from the status bar into the notification center, tap on the notification, type what I want to say, and actually tap on send. From there, it will send the message. As you can see, when I open up the messaging app, I have the message. It displays that the message has been sent successfully. Next, put simply, CC Toggles is a free tweak that allows the iDevice owners to easily customize the toggles available inside of Control Center. So as you can see, I have custom toggles here. I can actually switch between other toggles that I have predefined inside of the CC Toggles setting pane inside of the settings app. So as you can see, now we're inside of the CC Toggles portion of settings. I can go into toggles and I can actually set which toggles I want enabled. It also gives me more options aside from the default toggles inside of control center. So when I bring up control center, you can see that I have the option to enable or disable mute without actually toggling the switch on the side. And when I swipe over, I also have things like location services, cellular connection, LTE, the option to respring and more. For number five, we have Flux, which is actually a tweak that I've mentioned before. It allows iPhone, iPad, or iPod touch users who are jailbroken to enable an automatic screen filter that sort of modifies the warmth of the display to hues that are easier and more forgiving on the eyes at night. So let me show you what I mean by bringing up the Flux app. Some of these settings are also available inside of the settings app. So as you can see, at night I have the option to change the color warmth. During the day I leave it normal, but at night it slowly adjusts over an hour period after the sun sets based on your location. Coming in at number six is actually Tiny Bar, which you might have noticed already when I was doing the Byte SMS test. So if you didn't happen to see it, let me show you exactly what it is by sending myself another message. So I'm going to exit out. So as you can see, it does shrink the size of notifications to prevent the interruption when receiving said notifications while simultaneously interacting with other apps. It's the perfect jailbreak tweak for those who, like myself, disdain the gaudy size of default notifications. Next is a premium tweak called Video Pane that I'll actually really enjoy demonstrating to you guys. So what it does is it basically allows videos to be played in a multitasking view of sorts. So when you start playing a YouTube video, for instance, we get a Video Pane notification asking if we wanna detach the video. So I'm going to tap on Detach, and as you can see, I now have the video in a little mini player of sorts. So I can actually do other things such as interact with various applications. I can even go to the home screen and I can resize video pane as well. You can also double tap on it to make it transparent so you can actually see what's behind the video pane. And again, you can reposition it to make sure you're actually looking at what you want to be looking at on your device while simultaneously watching the video. And it's actually going right now, as you can see, it's moving along. I was just talking in that video about the iOS 7.1.2 untethered jailbreak. You can also push it to the side to pause the video and save it for later and then bring it back out to resume playing the video. You can of course make the video full screen if you want to and then actually go back to the detached view and resume other tasks on your device. So let's bring up Safari here after I fast forward a little bit and I can actually go to other web pages here inside of Safari. So let's go back 
back to best tech info and I can browse through articles on best tech info or any site or really use any application for that matter while watching videos and it works for most online video services which is absolutely great for number eight you might already have noticed part of it it's actually how my dock is the way it is and not only the five icon fashion but also the slight curvature of the icons as you can see the Safari icon in the middle is slightly smaller than the rest of them and they're also in sort of an arc that's because of spring Tamize 3 which has a long-standing history and predecessor lineage of allowing for various unthought of customization of a device's springboard and its overall functions in general so in addition to doing things like allowing you to completely customize the icon layout you can also customize your dock your status bar really anything including animation so I can speed up the animation or the transition time for the animation so as you can see it's much faster I can also make it slower and it does some of the effects in real time others you have to actually respring for but it offers unparalleled customization of a device's springboard as you can see I have so many available options here are just the categories and then from there you can go inside of said categories and make various adjustments to suit your customization needs and for the final free tweak in today's list we have virtual home which is actually exclusive to the iPhone 5s and because I use the iPhone 5s on a daily basis it's my main device and it's the one that I actually interact with the most and demonstrate tweaks on the most I decided to include this tweak hopefully the touch ID sensor will be expanded to other devices in the future in which case this tweak will most likely function on said devices such as next generation iPad models but anyway aside from that virtual home is a really awesome tweak that uses the iPhone 5s's touch ID sensor now essentially on an iPhone 5s with touch ID installed users are able to simply rest their fingers on the home button instead of actually physically pressing it to return to the home screen so let me show you what I mean it's kind of hard to demonstrate on video here because you can't tell if I'm pushing on it but if I were to just tap on the home button it actually goes to the home screen it also allows for customization for bringing up Siri as well as multitasking so if I were to double tap it would bring up Siri and I didn't actually click on the button I actually double tapped because normally when you actually double click on the home button it brings up multitasking well of course now when I double tap on it it brings up Siri it also also allows you to quickly unlock your device without actually pushing your finger on it if you have a finger that's enrolled through touch ID it will instantly unlock it let me show you what happens when I use a finger that isn't enrolled in touch ID it will say that that finger is incorrect or it will just say try again and if I were to swipe over it would say the same thing try again and when I actually use a finger that's enrolled in touch ID it works and it unlocks the device as it should all right and finally in today's list we have my why which is best suited for jailbroken iPhones and cellular capable iPads as it allows for the tethering of a data connection over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and my why is often regarded as one of the best solutions for concealing unauthorized tethering usage from carriers so bringing my iPhone back down as you can see I can enable either Wi-Fi tethering USB tethering Bluetooth tethering or my why on demand which essentially communicates with another device let's say an iPad for instance with my why installed on it and it will intelligently enable or disable tethering depending on whether you're using the client to actually access the internet so then it will disable it on the host if you're not accessing the internet at that set period of time so that it saves battery life on both devices actually it's really great and I definitely recommend my wife for anyone who's interested in tethering their data connection and accessing it on something like an iPad or a laptop for instance on the go all right and that's it for this list of top tweaks available inside of Cydia for devices jailbroken on iOS 7 it really includes any firmware up until Apple's latest public firmware at the time of recording this video being 7.1.2 and again guys keep in mind these are just a select number of tweaks that function on Apple's latest firmware they're actually my favorite tweaks they're the only ones I really have installed on my iPhone 5s they preserve battery life and they had some really great functionality and with spring to my 3 some awesome customization options I hope you guys liked this video and I hope you liked the list if you did and you're interested in winning an Amazon gift card Just be sure to rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comments
comment section. Once your comment's been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And if you guys are interested in earning paid app codes from Apple's App Store for free legally while simultaneously supporting the developers of said applications, just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash getfreeapplife or freeapplife.com inside of Safari. Once downloaded, install sponsored apps for points and then redeem said points for again paid app codes from Apple's App Store, gift cards, and electronic devices. All right, and that wraps up this video. If you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos covering things like jailbreaking and Cydia tweets, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.